Hi Sagittarius, this is Jess and this is How Do They Feel? We're going to look at you versus each sign to see how you feel about each other at this time. Keep in mind this is a general so it may not resonate with all of you. Uh, so we're going to start with, just wanted to look at one more. Okay, so we're going to start with um, Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, I feel that there's a lot of attraction. Uh, you could have recently reconciled with your Aries. They definitely, definitely want to reconcile with you. They've been thinking about you. They may have been holding back for a little while, but they probably don't want to hold back much longer. Um, if you guys have been on a break, you may have started getting yourself back out there, uh, dating again, um, and they kind of miss times with you. So they may be trying to reach out. If you if you have a Aries in your life, looks like you guys are having a lot of fun. There's a very strong um, compatibility between the two of you. You're taking it kind of light and airy and just having fun with this Aries. But this Aries um, is kind of having a deeper connection with you. Okay. And it's easy for you to um, kind of get them going to make them respond to you. It's very easy for you to do that at this time. So uh, kind of good energy with you in this Aries. If you've just met one, looks like it'll be a very dynamic connection together. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just know that this Aries um, kind of sees you more than you see them. Like they see the promise, they see the connection, they have a deeper connection to you uh, than you do. You probably are taking it more light and fun, but this Aries um, has a more um, invested um, feeling toward you. Again, if you're in, on the outs, looks like this Aries kind of wants to kind of come back again and work things out. If you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus feels like you are... They may feel like you're not interested. Um, I don't feel like you guys are together at this time. They're single and independent or feeling as though um, they would like to kind of work things out with you. Um, but you may not be approaching them. You may not be giving them the time of day. You may look back at how things were between the two of you or where things stand between the two of you and choose not to approach them, choose not to respond to them. You're just... Um, unresponsive right now and you're not interested in kind of making any moves toward this Taurus at this time and this Taurus if they are single they may be in, um, enjoying being single it may be very difficult for them to um, be to be able to invest in a relationship they may have been single for a very long time or they may have recently became single and that's kind of how they like it at this time so um they would be willing, I feel. There is a willingness to uh, see where the where the two of you can go. Uh, but you don't seem to be interested, Sag. You really don't seem to be interested at all when it comes to this Taurus. Like you don't want to go through another round of this or you just may not be attracted to them. If you're, in, if you're dealing with a Gemini, this Gemini is very attracted to you. They may be reaching out to you very soon. They want to take you out. They want to spend time with you. Um... They want to enjoy your company. They have been thinking about you, uh, but this but this Gemini may also be um, reaching out to other people as well. So not just you. Uh, so just be conscious of that. I feel that you guys, um, you know, it's kind of strange here because I feel for you, you may want this Gemini to be loving and and caring and more emotionally available to you but you're getting someone who's more physically attracted to you and not expressing their emotions or not really investing the emotional side to them in you uh, but they're definitely interested in you on an intimate on a physical level they want to spend time and get together and possibly be intimate as i said and for others of you, I feel that you have feelings for this Gemini and they are they have more sexual uh, attraction to you. If you're dealing with a cancer, this cancer isn't going to reach out. This cancer probably feels like, you know, the feelings are dying or they're dead or they're just not interested. They're not making any 
uh, approach to you at this time. Um, they may just feel like, you know, it's, it's, the feelings aren't there. That's what I get. The feelings aren't there. And it's kind of a no for them when it comes to this cancer. But you are waiting around. You're waiting around for this cancer. For you, it's not completely over. You're still kind of waiting to see if you guys can kind of resume a relationship or if, if there's a possibility that things can kind of work out. After all, at this time, and again, this is just right now as we're speaking, at, at this time, this cancer is not necessarily approaching you. Uh, and they will not be messaging you. You probably won't be hearing from this cancer. If you're dealing with a Leo, a Leo, a Leo has moved on from you. Um, it could have a lot to do with the eclipses. Uh, they just have moved on. Um, this was a third party situation. You guys probably found out about that or you know about that. Uh, and this person is, this Leo may have already chosen their person. Like they've chosen someone. They will be mourning the loss of the situation. Um, they may have regrets of the way that it all happened, especially if they put you into a third party. They do have regrets, okay? Um, they wish things could have worked out differently. They wish things could could have been different, but they've chosen to kind of move on. Um, and I don't feel like you'll be hearing from this Leo, okay? Uh, because again, it was very much a third party situation. You are not you don't feel like you have control over the situation. You're not trying to make anything happen between you and this Leo. It's like you're accepting it for what it is. And um, you're really not trying to change the situation at all at this time. If you're dealing with a Virgo, a Virgo could have cut you out of their life. They're being very cold, very distant. Um, probably could even be pl playing mind games to some extent. Uh, but they're very calculating at this time. You want to work things out with a, a Virgo. You may have tried to put them in a third party or it could have been a third party situation here with this Virgo as well. But I feel like this Virgo is keeping an arm's length in between the two of you. They're not opening up to you. They're not communicating with you. And if they are, it's very cold, it's very callous, it's very distant. Um... They're still hanging on though. So a part of them is definitely still attached to you. They're not letting that be known. They're not showing it. Uh, but I feel like they're trying to get a different perspective on the situation. Uh, whether or not it's possible to work it out down the line. Maybe three months from now things can change. Uh, yeah, and this also may be like a third party situation as well, Sag. So be careful dealing with a Virgo, uh, especially if they're giving you mixed signals if you're dealing and some of you too you could be and you could have two people and trying to kind of make um trying to you could have another person in your life and trying to deal with this virgo but they're not going to tolerate a third party situation so if if that's what you're doing they're not going to tolerate that if you're dealing with a libra i feel like a libra is definitely um badgering you, questioning you, um, spying on you, uh, checking up on you. Uh, I feel like you're really busy at work and focusing on um, your own life pursuits. You may have a lot going on at work. You may be focusing on a particular project. And so that may make them feel a bit suspicious, um, not sure about what's going on with you. Yeah, they may be accusing you of a third party. And if you're recently meeting a uh, Libra, they may be someone who's very inquisitive, asking you 50 million questions. Um, they may not really understand just why you're so aloof. So they may be accusing you or suspicious that you are seeing someone else. Um, and so trying to have a clean slate with a Libra will be difficult if there has been cheating and lying and, you know, that sort of thing going on. doesn't look like you're, you're dealing with a third party at this time, but if that has been the case in the past, it may be difficult for this Libra to trust you again. And so trying to wipe the slate clean and starting a new may be difficult at this time. And if you just re recently met a Libra, I feel like right now they may be very immature in the way that they communicate to try to kind of get to know you uh so you may feel like the energy between the two of you is a bit off like how they how how they communicate in the way that you your style of communication and their style of communication is different so that may be a bit of a challenge 
If you're dealing with a Scorpio, there's been a recent breakup. Some things have come out and come up to the surface. And I feel that some of you are, tr you may be secretly getting back with this Scorpio, but not telling anyone. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, because you probably don't want to save face. Basically, you probably are just trying to save face. You're probably trying to, um, you don't want to hear people's, you know, comments or um, critiques about you going back to the Scorpio. So secretly, some of you are going back to a Scorpio, even though some things have come out and you really know the truth about what's going on between you and the Scorpio. Um, if you're dealing with, <clears throat> excuse me, and I want to say if, if this is a new relationship and you're meeting a Scorpio, some of you may be cheating and trying to sneak off to be with a Scorpio, you're going to get found out. Whoever's cheating is going to get found out. If you haven't already, you're going to get found out. So be conscious and careful with that. If you're dealing with a, so is this is Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, one Sagittarius is falling in love. You know, they have love for uh, you um, and they're expressing that, right? They're kind, they're available emotionally. Uh, but the other Sagittarius is trying to move on from probably a past hurt and pain, a situation that they have going on in their life that is a bit challenging. They may be physically moving. Uh, so you do have a Sag that's interested in you, but you're trying to get on your feet or you're trying to move on to a place that kind of brings you peace is what it looks like. Some of you may not be interested if you've been going through an up and down and on again, off again situation with the Sagittarius. Uh, some of you Sagittariuses may be ready to kind of move on to something else and not give this person another chance. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn has been lying, <laughs> keeping things from you, <laughs> lying by omission, and you're not having it. Sagittarius is like running after them, um, creating conflict, confronting them, um, putting out, oblig putting out uh, what do you call it, um, ultimatums. Uh, if they don't, if you don't hear from them, you're on their phone. If you don't see them, you're knocking on their door. Like you are ready to create some type of confrontation with this Capricorn because you don't feel like they've they've been honest with you. You may have caught them in a lie. So you will be confronting a Capricorn. If you have recently broke up with a Capricorn, you're definitely going to try to get them back. You're not going to just um, not, you're not going to allow them to not respond to you, not answer you, not talk to you. Like you guys are running after this Capricorn. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, an Aquarius is getting over you. It was tough. And, and it's still residual energy there, most definitely. It's still residual energy, but they're getting over you. They're, they're, they're probably waking up and not feeling so much anxiety, stress, and worry at this time as they have before. Um, they st are starting to see the forest from the trees. They're seeing a the light at the end of the tunnel. You want to communicate with them, though. You want to talk to them. Uh, you feel like it's been long enough and you guys probably need to talk. You may have been missing them. And some of you may decide to reach out to speak with this um, Aquarius. Will they be open to hearing you out? Okay. Yes, absolutely. So if you want to reach out to an Aquarius, especially if you guys have been in a bad place, they will welcome you with open arms. They truly, truly love you. I think the situation with this Aquarius, whatever the circumstance was, this Aquarius realized just how deeply they love you and just how deep of a connection and rapport that the two of you have. So this Aquarius will open, will welcome you back with open arms. If not even just to be in a love relationship, even though the cards that are here, when I when I look deeper into um, whether or not they would, how they would respond to you, it does suggest a very deep love connection with two people that can be uh, longstanding and very happy. This could also just be, you know, we're good friends. Um, we co-parent great. But there's a love connection between the two of you that is extremely deep and that um, kind of withstands the test of time. So they'll always have a deep love for you 
that, again, goes beyond time, goes beyond time. If you're dealing with a Pisces, a Pisces is very happy at this time. You may make them very happy. They're very satisfied. If you guys aren't speaking at this time, they're kind of satisfied in their life, you know. Um, you may have recently professed your love to a Pisces and they really was happy to hear that. Uh, so if you're together, it seems like things are good. You really have fallen in love with this Pisces. Um, and you feel like you can fully express your love and fully be in that in that place of love around this Pisces. Especially, I, I think, if you have Neptune hitting your sun, uh, because that kind of is indicative of that, um, you know, like, what do you call it? Like a higher octave of love. So when you have a Neptune placement with your Venus, um, then uh, sometimes your sun then you really can express love on the most highest of a level. And so that may be the connection that you both share. And I do feel like you're able to really make this Pisces happy. If you're not speaking to each other right now, they probably know that you still love them. So a part of them gets satisfaction from that, knowing that you still love them, knowing that, that you're, they're still valuable to you. Uh, but overall, it looks really good with you and a Pisces. I would say... Pisces is really the best one. Pisces and Aries seems to be the best connections. And of course, Aquarius looks really good too. It's just a talk that probably needs to happen between the two of you. There has been some hurt. There has been some pain. Um, there has been healing that needed to take place. And this connection outbeats everything. Like this is a connection that no matter how you guys remain in each other's lives, that love, that deep love for one another will always be there. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope that this has been helpful. Uh, let me know how this resonates with you since it is something completely different. Leave it in the comment section below, guys, if you would like something personal with me. I can be reached in the description box below as well. And if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Sagittarius.